But right now, we have a very special guest, PGA Tour player Johnson Wagner, who won the PGA Tour's Mayakoba Golf Classic in Mexico over the weekend. Johnson, welcome to the show. Good to be on. Thanks for having me, guys. Johnson, how big a win was that for you over the weekend? Obviously, it was a lot of money, but just just stature and, 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 and all of that, how big was it for you? It, it was nice. You know, the, the first one came a little bit earlier in my career than I thought, and, uh, you know, I, I probably didn't do some, some things the right way afterwards, uh, maybe wasted my two-year exemption, and uh, I've always heard the second one's harder, and, and I'm, I'm just so thrilled. I've been working really hard, and uh, so thrilled to see it pay off and, and get my second win. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's real big. Does it bother you at all that you sort of got overshadowed because because of the match play that was going on at the same time, or do you even care? Oh no, no, not not at all. I, you know, I watched the match play myself, not the not the final day, but uh, I watched a lot of it last week, and you know, the match play is always fun to watch. Uh, you know, I knew going down there there was another tournament, and you know, I've got plenty more big tournaments this year. Hopefully, I can take the main stage myself sometime. Johnson. <clears throat> Just just talk about play playing down in Mexico over the weekend. Is it, it, you said when you won this tournament, maybe you'll handle it better than you did when you won your first one. What did you do wrong the first time? Well, you know, I I think I forgot about what I did, how hard I worked to get to that place uh, to to give myself a chance to win. Um, I think I took it for granted. I think I, I think I thought it was just easy and. Uh, I forgot about the the months leading up to when I won, when I struggled and was practicing, and 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 this time I'm not going to let myself uh, think that winning is just that easy, and I'm going to try to do the same things I've been doing the last couple months, and and hopefully give myself more opportunities to win because the last two years has been pretty inconsistent for me, and and I'm I'm hoping to hoping this really turns my career around, and I can be uh, I can be one of those guys that has a lot of chances to win every year. He is PGA Tour player Johnson Wagner. Winner of the Mayakoba Golf Classic over the weekend on the PGA Tour. Johnson, um, during the tough times, you, did you ever think about, hey, maybe maybe I'm not going to make it. Maybe this isn't for me. Uh, I, I definitely I definitely did. Uh, I actually I was talking to someone about it, and, and I, I was pretty down on myself, and, and, and I was kind of considering myself somewhat of a failure. And, and, and this, this person was telling me, how can you consider yourself a failure? You've won a PGA Tour event. You've achieved your dream of playing on the PGA Tour. And I just kind of had to remind myself that, you know what, I, there's a lot of guys out there that have never even played a nationwide tour event, much less won a PGA Tour event. So, uh, yes, I definitely had doubts, but uh, at, at the same time, I, I, I had achieved, achieved pretty much all my, my dreams. So now it's uh, everything's just a bonus from here on out. J- jump into what's going on in 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 the world of golf, big picture. I, uh, during the match play, there was a stat: eight of the final sixteen players, I think, were under thirty at the match play. Um, can you just talk about the youth movement that's kind of going on in golf right now? It seems like there's almost a changing of the guard in professional golf. Well, it, it's pretty incredible, and and uh, it, it's pretty incredible. I've played with Martin Keimer before. Uh, at Firestone a couple of years ago, and I tell you what, I, I knew a couple of years ago he was going to be incredible, and um, I, I think we're going to see him win a lot of majors. You know, I, I think my my issue is that you, know, you look at the top American golfers, and, and they're all not old by any stretch, mm-hmm. but Jim Furyk's been around for a while, Phil's been around for a while, Tiger obviously has as well, and I think that it's kind of a European youth movement, and, and, and I think... Uh, Young Americans need to step up a little more and, and start winning tournaments and winning bigger tournaments. And it's uh, personally to me, I mean, I like all those European guys, all the South African and Aussie guys. They're they're great guys, but I'm I'm an American and proud to be, and, and I want to see us towards the top of that list a lot more. You want to take down the Euros, don't you? <laughs> I, I would. You know what? Playing on a Ryder Cup or a Presidents Cup team would probably be the highlight of my life, and that is something that I've. Uh, you know, had it in the back of my head for a long time. I, I love that team atmosphere, and it would be an honor to honor to take them down. Johnson, uh, kind of continuing on that that same topic, why have the why have the Euros sort of emerged and 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 young Americans haven't in recent years? 
You know what? I, it, that's a great question. It's, it's hard to answer. I mean, you've got to think that, that Tiger probably has somewhat of an effect on that. Um, you know, we've kind of just grown up in his shadow a little bit and, uh, you know, kind of looked at him and, and, and sort of been awestruck. And, and I think that, you know, Ian Poulter's and the Paul Casey's and Keimer's and those guys, they just – they have the hunger and the fire to go out and, and, and beat, you know, the good Americans, and, and, and they're doing it. And so I think that uh, I think that we really need to kind of adopt that attitude and, 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 and then go out and get fired up to beat those guys. Johnson, I'm going to ju- jump around a little bit on you here. I, I'm reading your bio here on, on PGATour.com. You're a big Dallas Mavericks fan, huh? Well, that bio is a little bit old. That was my first year at uh, Q School that I filled that out in uh, 2002 of December, and I had just been living in Dallas for a couple months with my aunt who had season tickets, so I had been to a bunch of Mavs games. I, I am still a fan. I love Dirk Nowitzki, but back in the day it was Nowitzki and Nash, and I just, uh, yeah, it's a great organization. Mark Cuban's a hell of an owner, and just, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm definitely a Mavs fan. Other than golf, what's your favorite sport? Um, I love, I love football. I love watching football. i um, never played it, played, uh, played just about everything else growing up. Hockey was probably, uh, the most fun sport I've ever played. Um, I uh, definitely, I don't watch much hockey anymore, but, uh, I, hockey has got to be up to, towards the top of that list. Wait a minute. You, you're, you're six foot three, 200 and what? <laughs> two, two, now probably 45. Six foot three, 245. You grew you you were born in Amarillo, Texas, and you didn't play football. I know my my whole family did too. Uh, my uncle uh, played at Oklahoma, was actually drafted by the Packers, and and uh, you know I, my parents just didn't really want me to play. They uh, saw what it did to my fa- some family members with injuries, and they just uh, really didn't want me to play. And I I never did. I just you know loved golf and loved other things, and football just never never happened. He is Johnson Wagner, PGA Tour player who won over the weekend on the PGA Tour. Johnson, let me ask you this. You're, you went to Virginia Tech, right? Yes, sir, yes. Do you, do you know the hokey cheer? The hokey cheer? Yeah, the hokey, hokey, hokey high. Um, of course I do. How's it go? Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. On <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm, 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 better, I'm better at the hokey pokey. <laughs> Oh. I can't blame you there because Johnson he picks on me all the time because I went to UCF and I don't know the fight song, <laughs> so he, he tries to get everybody to do this now. So, uh, hey, hey, by the way, you, nice. you talked about you grew up in Amarillo. What else? What is there to do in Amarillo? Because it's kind of the small town environment, um, and you know a lot of people grow up playing a lot of athletics, but you wouldn't necessarily think of golf in that area. Uh, definitely not. We moved. Uh, we moved uh, to Nashville, Tennessee, when I was eight. My dad went back to school to get his PhD and. Uh, so uh, growing up in Amarillo, I was I was a little young to really get the full experience of the town. But uh, it's definitely a small town. There's not much to do. Lots of good barbecue. Lots of good cowboying, and uh, you know, ranch time. That's about it. The great wrestler Terry Funk is from Amarillo. Terry Funk. I'm not familiar with him. Yeah. Hey, hey, Johnson. Real quick. Um, I'm curious because th- this became a story in the golf world. Over the last couple of days, there was a there was a golf panel, uh, sort of constructed by the Golf Channel. Johnny Miller was on it over the weekend. All right, okay. So Johnny Miller, they're talking about the issues in golf, and Johnny Miller compared Tiger's career path to Mike Tyson. Hmm? Can you can you just talk about Johnny Miller and I mean they. How, how do golfers feel about him? Because he's outspoken. He doesn't seem to care if he offends anybody. Do you like Johnny Miller? Um, well, that's you're kind of putting me on the spot here. I'm going to try to be honest with you. <laughs> okay. Um, when I won, when I won in Houston, um, obviously NBC was doing the coverage, mm-hmm. and I watched the replay of it, and, and I was pretty, I was pretty turned off by Johnny Miller and the way he was just very negative towards, you know me winning and first time winners and I and the more I watch him he's just very he's very critical. He's very he is very brash and I think that's why a lot of, you know, golf fans enjoy listening to him. But me personally, um he's not my favorite. I, I, I prefer I prefer 
I prefer other people. But uh, he's a he's a good commentator. He was a great player. Um, I, I personally don't don't care for his commentating. What did he say about you, Johnson? Oh, he just you know I had a two shot lead coming down the stretch, and he's just you know finding all these ways. He says this tournament's not over. He could snap it in the water here. I just would you know you got coming down the stretch. Let's give him some credit. Let's you know let's let's talk about the things he's done great today, and and, and give him a chance to win a golf tournament as opposed to setting him up for failure. Johnson, what are your goals moving forward after winning over the weekend? Um, you know, I, I, I really, it's a, it's a cliche, but I, I took it one shot at a time last week and, mm-hmm. then, you know, tried to do my best on every shot. And, you know, that's kind of what I want to keep doing. It obviously worked last week. And I, I uh, you know, I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of dreams and, and goals. I want to, I want to play, like I said, I want to play Ryder Cups and President's Cups and win majors, but, uh, you know, really, I just want to get better and better every week, and and I, I think that uh, I think that I'm going to contend in a lot of golf tournaments this year. He is Johnson Wagner, PGA Tour player, Virginia Tech alumnus, hokey, 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 high tech, tech, VPI. Johnson, thanks for joining <laughs> us today. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me on.